स्वागतम आई एम मेरी सो इट्स ओके पिता मुली प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा प्लीज रीड द टेक्स्ट हरे कृष्णा इट्स 1.7.8 परमापुरुषे भक्तिर उत्पाद्यते पंशा शोका महाभयाशन ओके हरे कृष्णा Very, very, certainly, certainly. Through Yaman Nayam, through Yaman Nayam, simply by giving oral reception. Simply by giving oral reception. By giving oral reception. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Unto Lord Krishna. Unto Lord Krishna. Krishna. Parama, Parama. Supreme. supreme purushe purushe and to the personality of godhead to the personality of godhead and of godhead bhakti 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 feelings of devotional service feelings, feelings of, of devotional service ut utpadyate utpadyate sprout up sprout up pumshaha pumshaha of the living being of the living of the living being so shoka shoka lamentation lamentation moha 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 illusion 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 baya 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 fearfulness fearfulness apaha 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 that which extinguishes उट to extinguish the fire of uh, lamentation illusion and fearfulness purport i can read half then uh, anybody can read the next it is okay purport by his divine grace shri bhakti vedanta swami prabhupa shila prabhupad ki jai there are various senses of which the ear is the most effective this sense work even when a man is deep sleep one can protect himself from the hands of an enemy while awake but while asleep one is protected by the ears only the importance of hearing is mentioned here is a connection with the attaining the highest perfection of life namely getting free from three material pangs everyone is a fool of lamentation at every moment he is after the much of uh, illusory things and he is away always afraid of his uh, supported enemies supposed enemy these are the prime symptoms of material disease and it is definitely suggested here in that simply by hearing the message of shrimad bhagavatam one gets attachment for the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna as soon as this is affected the symptoms of the material disease disappears shri labhyas dev so the all perfect personality of a godhead and in this 
स्टेटमेंट द ऑल परफेक्ट पर्सनल सर्विस इज टू डेवलप जेन्युन लव फॉर द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी लव इज अ वर्ड व्हिच इज ऑफन यूज्ड इन रिलेशन विद मैन एंड वुमेन एंड लव इज द ओनली वर्ड that can be properly used to indicate the relation between lord krishna and the living entity the living entities are mentioned as prakriti in the bhagavad gita and in the sanskrit prakriti is a feminine object the lord is always described as the parama purusha or the supreme male personality thus the affection between the lord and the living entity is something like that between the male and the female therefore the term love of a godhead is quite appropriate hari krishna anyone can read the next if you possible hari krishna yes mother ji loving loving devotional service to the lord begins with hearing about the lord there is no difference between the lord and the subject matter had about him the lord is absolute in all respects and thus there is no difference between him and the subject matter had about him therefore hearing about him means immediate contact with him by the process of vibration of the transcendental sound and the transcendental sound is so effective that it is that it acts as at once by removing all material affections mentioned above as mentioned below uh, be, before a living entity develops a sort of complexity by material uh, material uh, association and the illusionary illusory encouragement or engagement of the material body is accepted as as the actual fact under such false pro- complexity the living beings under different categories of life become illusioned in different ways even in the most developed stages of human life the same illusion prevails in the form of many or what is that is isms and uh, divides the loving relation with the lord and there and thereby divides loving relation between man and man by, he, by hearing the subject matter of shrimad bhagavatam this false complexity of materialism is removed and the real peace of the real peace in society begins which politicians aspire for so which politicians aspire for so eagerly in so many political situations the politicians want a peaceful situation Uh, between man and man and nation and nation but at the same time because of too much attachment for material domination de- domination there is uh, illusion and fearfulness therefore the politicians peace conferences cannot bring about peace in so- in society it can only be done by hearing the subject matter described in the shrimad bhagavatam about the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna the foolish politicians may go on holding peace and summit conferences for hundreds of years but they will fail to achieve success until we reach the stage of reestablishing our lost relation with krishna the illusion of accepting the body uh, as a self will prevail and thus fearfulness will also prevail as for the validity of shri krishna as the supreme personality of godhead there are hundreds and thousands of evidences from revealed scriptures and there and there are hundreds and thousands uh, of evidence from the personal experiences of devotees in various places like vrindavan navadvip and puri even in the kaumudi dictionary the syn- the synonyms of krishna are given as the son of yashoda and the supreme personality of godhead para brahman the the completion is simply by hearing the very krishna shrimad shrimad bhagavatam one can have direct connection with the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna and thereby one can attain the highest perfection of life by transcend, transcending worldly miseries illusion and fearfulness 
These are practical tests for one who has actually given a submissive hearing to the readings of Srimad Bhagavatam. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Mataji. So we can continue. Now, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta. Swami Niti Namine. Namaste Saraswati Devi. Kodabali Pracharine. Nirvishesha Sunyabadi Pashatya Deshatani. Hare Krishna. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to reading some one text of Srimad Bhagavatam. It is Canto 1, Chapter 7 and Text 7. Yasya Vishriyamanayam Krishna Paramapurushe Bhakti Rutpadyate Pumsa Shoka Moha Bhaya Paha. Simply by giving aerial reception of this Vedic literature, the feeling for loving devotional service to Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, sprout up at once to extinguish the fire of lamentation, illusion, and fearfulness. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> so it's a very nice text and very important text also. So it is talking about the importance of hearing, how the hearing is so much important and what is the benefit of the hearing of Srimad Bhagavatam. It is talking about this. It is telling, Yasya, Yashyam Ve Shre Manayam, simply by giving the oral reception of this Vedic literature, simply by hearing of this Srimad Bhagavatam, simply by hearing, Nothing supposed to do any other things. Only by the hearing of the Bhagavatam, what happened? Uh, Krishna Parama Purusha. So Bhagavatam, what was written? What is written in Bhagavatam? It is written the pastimes, the glories, the activity of Param Purusha, Bhagavan Krishna. So when we are uh, the Leela, Rupa, good, or other the things, all the things of a Krishna, we can read. Just hearing the pastime of a Krishna, the glories of a Krishna, what will happen? Bhakti utpadyate pungsha. Bhakti utpadyate. Utpadyate means uh, like produced. It is uh, talking, it is here, uh, sprouts of, like utpanna, sprouts of. Bhakti, it means devotional service sprouts of. It begins devotional service. So simply by hearing, at the pastime of Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, what will happen? Now there is sprouts of the bhakti. The devotional service is started. And what has happened? Another thing. Shoka moha bhaya paha. Shoka. Shoka means the illusion. Sorry, shoka means lamentation. What is going past? We are thinking about it. The Lamentation, oh, this has happened, that one happened, you are lost, this one lost, like so many things. Shoka, moho, moho means illusion, and bhaya, bhaya means the fearfulness, all are gone. So, because simply by the hearing of a Srimad Bhagavatam, the Srimad Bhagavatam, so that is called the nectarian fruits of all Vedic literature, and it is talking about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It is described all the pastime of the Supreme Prasad of Godhead. And when we are reading this, simply by hearing this one, we'll develop the love, the devotional service of the Supreme Personality. And when it is developed, what is happened? The soka, moha, bhaya, paha, all the illusion, all the lamentation, and the fearfulness is gone. So it is described here. So here, we are just think, talking about, it is described in this space or in the text, the importance of a hearing. All we know is what is the importance of hearing. First, what we are supposed to do? When a small baby born, 
he only just hear uh, her mother is calling his father is calling he just hearing that time he cannot write he cannot read he can't understand anything but simply hearing he understand many things so since our birth we are hearing and we can develop our faith by hearing first before we go to some place in a mundane example we can go for example we are go to the dubai first we heard the name dubai there is a shopping mall there is very amazing park and so many things we heard then we started our plan how to go how will stay how will enjoy and so many things so hearing is so important so that we can develop our faith develop our relation and develop our attachment of that so similarly here by the importance of hearing so that it is a, all the scriptures are talking about the hearing 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 in bhagavatam also we know shrunutvam shokatha krishna punya shravana kirtana hrudantastu abhadrani vidunoti shrutsatam shrunutvam shokatha krishna o krishna just hearing your past times punya shravana kirtan that is very pious activity punya shravana kirtan that is very pious activity only hearing your katha you are hearing your past times that is all the pious activities and what happened hrudan tasto hi abhadrani vidhonati shrut satam what is the abhadrani it means what is the uh, um, all the bad qualities in our heart is a past away vidhonati it is vidhonati means the washing process hearing hearing is the washing process and it is clear our contamination in the heart all the contamination is going on that is called the powerful homo or powerful detergent to remove all our anarthas all our bad karma bad effects or bad things by the hearing of shri krishna katha so that it was in bhagavatam in a, uh, canto 1 chapter 2 it is written also we are no the navada bhakti started by the shravanam shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam padashamanam bandanam so many things are going on but the first is shravanam first is hearing first is hearing another thing so that importance of hearing all the scriptures all the things are talking about the importance of hearing importance of hearing like shrunutvam shokatha krishna only by hearing your katha your past times one supposed to be getting the past activity and all the contamination are going away and also shravana how we supposed to do to develop our spiritual life to develop our devo- devotional service one must supposed to be hearing the past time of krishna shravanam kirtana jale karahi sinchana shravana is a very very important aspects shravana it means hearing is a very very important aspect so that we can develop our faith we can re establish our relation with the supreme personality of god so that is propat talking about the shravanam how the, it is important like he propat told we have so many senses but the ear the ear is so important because it can save many dangers even somebody is awake he can protect himself but when a person is sleep what is supposed to do he can just hear oh what is this place? sound is coming something is wrong then he can be aware and he protect himself from the danger so you see the hearing how it is important see, so that this hearing process if we use to hear the first time of the supreme personality god had it is also our best weapon to cutting our to remove our bad activities bad karmas and supposed to be liberated in the he help us to liberation so this is the points some points of the hearing uh, by the hearing of a propat giving so many examples here by the hearing we will develop the genuine love for the krishna uh, 
the love the war proper in this chapter is talking about the love love is in so called love is there is attraction between men and women but that is not the true love but the love is meant for only krishna we can develop our genuine love by only hearing to the lord krishna because in a uh, in a sanskrit word and here also proper told the jeev are what is the jeev jeev are the prakruti prakruti is a feminine gender prakruti is a feminine and krishna is the param purusha he is the supreme personality the purusha is the male so that is so that it is very easily understand only one purusha is krishna although we have a male body but we are not actual male because all are female all we are female so that we generally attract to the krishna because he is the supreme personality he is this parama purusha he is only one purusha so that genuinely like all the females are attracted by a male similarly we are all female so that we can attract to the param purusha the supreme personality of god had a krishna i am just giving an example like you can maybe know 550 years before when all the sanat goswamis or sad goswamis are living in vrindavan and the same time the consequently mirabai the great devotee of lord vishnu lord krishna uh, lord krishna he was in meva meva in rajasthan he is a spontaneous love from his child from her childhood then one day he she visited to vrindavan and that time in vrindavan rupa goswami was there and he is composing all the literature because he is written everything so many things nectar of devotion nectar of instruction so many things then he want to see everybody knows rupa goswami is a very famous learner and a very great devotee then he vera uh, bai sent a message to meet her, meet him but the rupa goswami told oh you tell uh, i don't want to meet any female any nari any female because i took the sanyas brata i don't want to meet any woman then the messenger took uh, go away and give pass the message to vera bai and vera bai was surprised and he uh, she asked i know in all universe there is only one man then where the second man came you can just ask the question there is only one purusha he is krishna where is the second purusha he is where he born where he manifested then that message is given again the messenger come to the rupa goswami and tell the same story same thing oh this mirabai told there is only one purusha one purusha you are only krishna where is the second one how you claim you are a man then rupa goswami understood he is not in the bodily platform mirabai is not in the bodily platform like bodily i am a male you are a female she is like this like that because in the bodily platform when we are above this bodily platform we have not such feeling that one because in that stage in a trance stage it is only in atma then uh, rupa goswami thinking oh she is not an ordinary soul although he heard about mirabai is so devotee is famous devotee of lord vishnu krishna then said he invited then they have the uh, kathopakatham there is conversation then rupa goswami suggested him so you supposed to be go to the dwarka because uh, mirabai have the sense to worship lord krishna and radha in opulence form but in vrindavan there is a bal gopal form jashoda nandan krishna he is a cowherd boy so there is no opulence he is a cowherd boy there is no opulence but mirabai is thinking oh the krishna is the supreme personality he is the creator of everything he has so many opulence he is the full of opulence six opulence his worshiping method his meant mind set is that way then rupa goswami suggested oh mira you are a great devotee but you are not getting love here because your mission is different you are thinking how are you thinking you are supposed to be worship 
the dwarika is krishna who is full of opulence so if you want opulence how are you getting here in a vrindavan the vrindavan is pure of love there is no opulence is at all it is better you will go to the dwarika this dwarka dwarka naiki so called now we are talking about the uh, gujarat there is a poor bandar then dwarka then mirabai went to dwarka and we know mirabai is most in the dwarka this the the, the, uh, the vigraha he the morch herself so that is the devotee so my point is that the love so only one person is krishna is a male all the creatures are female so we have a genuine attraction for the krishna so people are thinking oh i have attraction oh so beautiful it is natural because we are all female although we are getting something male body or female body or something but we are not the male we are all the female so it is a genuine attraction to the lord krishna there is no wrong at all but some persons are develop this love but some persons are not develop that is by his karma or his activity and something also uh, like a, um, we love to everyone because when we love to myself or krishna we can see the krishna as a param purusha as a supreme personality is a paramatma is situated everybody's heart then you can love everyone it's not only for the my family my home my country no not like that we can love everyone even all these creatures of this world because we can in that place in that stage we develop our uh, mental set we develop ourselves to see in equal vision like suni chena supakecha pandita samadarshina the pandita who is the full of knowledge he see everything is equal because everybody every living entity is a part and a parcel of the supreme personality of god so how can i supposed to be harm to all there is no harm there is no hatred because he is also even is a small creature like a cow or a hen sheep fish every creature even the tree plants he is also part and parcel of the supreme personality how can i give the harmful action to him how can i trouble him for talking about the man so now there is no fighting no quarrel no misunderstanding if we read this bhagavatam read this bhagavatam on because we can develop our knowledge we can establish our relation with krishna that is only one method prapad also giving the comment here uh, like so called politicians they are so much worried to making the peace across the world so that they are establish so many summit so many um, treaties so many organization to make peace but proper told they are the foolish politicians they are the foolish politicians because they don't know what is the way to get peace among the across the world because until we are in the bodily platform i am thinking i am here i am a male i am indian i am european uh, i am brahmin i am kshatriya that is bodily concept until we are not above of this bodily concept we cannot establish the love among the men or among the country or among the nation so this is the fighting is going on only one thing is that if everybody follow the principle of shrimad bhagavatam it is talking about the i am krishna is the only one person and by we are the jiva are the part and parcel so if you are part and parcel we are brother we are the sister we are in one family with member uh, family members of the one family and our one father is the supreme personality then who is the fighting and we can thinking about this is nothing mine this land is not mine this country is not mine my uh, husband is not mine wife is not mine uh, nothing is mine i am just coming for a few minutes or few time and after that i'll go back then why is the fighting because but this problem is that 
nobody is accepting the message of Srimad Bhagavat. So that Prabhupada told, until we are just wandering here and there, try to make peace across the world, it can't be happened, it can't be possible, or it can't be successful. Only one route, only one thing is that if we follow the principle of the Srimad Bhagavat, only by the hearing, we can develop our faith, we develop our genuine love to Krishna. Then when I love Krishna, we can see Krishna is everywhere. Oh, Krishna is in the feast. How can I eat? How can I kill? Krishna is in the cow. How can I kill? Krishna is in this uh, human body. How can I harm to him? How can I hurt him? So many things is developed automatically. We can see in the devotees how they are compassionate to all. How they can, can be very simply and above of all the miseries because they develop their taste. Uh, they see everyone is equal and everybody, they just see the, uh, the Paramatma in everybody's heart. That is the thing. So the point is that it is talking about the hearing. Simply by hearing, even we are not understanding the Bhagavatam, it's no problem. Even if we cannot understand the Sanskrit words, it's no problem. But only by the hearing, only by the hearing. Uh, hearing the best and powerful method. Like you can give him many examples by the hearing. We can know, like Pralhat Maharaj, when he was in the mother's womb, womb of his mother, Kayadhu, then Pralhat Maharaj, the Kayadhu was, uh, uh, Kayadhu was taking shelter in the Narada Muni Shastram. And by the Narada Muni Shastram, they are talking and they are uh, Shastra Alochana, like the discussion about the Shastra, Pralhad Maharaj, although he is a son of a great divan, Hiranyakashipu, but he became a great devotee. How? Only by the hearing in the mother's womb. You see what is the powerful method is the hearing. Only by the hearing. He has developed his love to among, like Kastri Mata is told about, his mindset of Pralhad Maharaj. He is telling, oh, I didn't see any, anyone is my enemy. My friend, my father, and everyone is like my friend because they are giving me a trouble. If when they are giving me trouble, I can remember Krishna. So indirectly, they are helping me. So they are my friend. They are not my enemy. So this is the mindset of a devotee. How the devotee? When he learned, he learned from his mother's home by only by the hearing. Another example we can give him, maybe you know Abhimanyu, the Arjun's son. Uh, Abhimanyu, Arjun's son, when Arjun giving the instruction about the chakra vihu, some military art or some military training about that, the Abhimanyu was in a small baby in the mother's womb. He heard that one and he fight that one and he going uh, uh, enter inside that uh, uh, chakra vihu. So this is the power of a hearing. Also we can know when Namis uh, Parikiti Maharaj, at the end of the moment, when he was cursed and he will be die within seven days by the serpent, then he quit everything, all the kingdom, palace, everything, all the facilities, and he come to the uh, near the Ganges and sit there and waiting. What supposed to do? Then everybody. Is giving so many idea. Oh, give go do that, go do that, do this, do that. But at last, Sukhdev Goswami, uh, sorry, Sutta Goswami came here and he narrated all the Bhagavatam, only hearing, only the hearing process. Srotam Nishamya Miramanasya Prabhupta Hari Kirtana. When a person have no any option, what is supposed to do? Srotabhyam, uh, Kirtitabhyasya, Smaratabhyasya, Ichhatam. Srotabhyam, only hearing. But the first thing is hearing. So when we hear, we can develop our faith to the same personality or the same person. So Parikit Maharaj, when he was in trouble, Sutta Goswami narrated all the things 
he is just telling and Prahlad Maharaj is hearing, hearing, hearing that he liberated. You see what is the powerful method of hearing. So there are many instances of the hearing. Also in the same text is telling, so Sanghita, oh, sorry, uh, Yashyam Ue Shwemanayam, Krishna Paramapurusha Shwemanayam, only by the simply hearing. Also the same thing is hearing about the importance of the hearing in Naimisha Aradhyam. When all the sages headed by Shonuka Rushi, they heard, oh, Sutta Goswami is came here, Sutta Goswami is coming. Then they stop all the sacrifices. Then telling, we are getting our benefits of the sacrifices. Now we can hear from this uh, eminent sadhu. Why the hearing? Because they are told this jagya, this sacrifice is nothing. The hearing is more important. They are the great, great sages. Sona Karushi, all the sages of the Nami Sharan, they are engaged in themselves for a long sacrifices. In thousands of years is going on. They are became black because the ashes of the, the ashes and the smoke of the Yajna sacrifices. But when they heard, then there's a chance of the Sutta Goswami is there, then they stop everything, all the sacrifices stop. They are simply sitting, then asking the question and only the hearing from the Sutta Goswami. You can see what is the importance of hearing. And when hearing, what will happen? Bhakti utpadyate punsha. The bhakti utpadyate sprout up. The begins. Bhakti will started in your heart only by the hearing. Like everybody, we can give him the, so many examples of the hearing. Bhakti utpadyate punsha. And another thing, what will happen? Shoka, moha, bhaya, paha. Shoka, the illusion. Sorry, shoka, the lamentation. Uh, oh, that was happened, this one happened, this one, that one. Shoka, what has happened in the past? Moha, in the present. We are so attachment. And bhaya, for the future. Bhaya, paha, all are gone away. Like when the sun rays, there is no question of the darkness. Similarly, when we hearing the Krishna Katha, reading the stream, only the hearing of the Srimad Bhagavatam, the first time of Lord Supreme Personality of the Godhead, what will happen? The bhakti utpadya, the sprout of the bhakti. Our bhakti is supposed to begin. And soak up moha bhayapaha, all the illusion, lamentation, and fearfulness gone. So that is the main thing of uh, today's text, how it is so much important of a hearing of a Srimad Bhagavatam, the Krishna Katha, the Supreme Personality of God, the glories of the Supreme Personality of God, the pastime of the Supreme Personality of God, that is described here. Hare Krishna. The forum is open for uh, the question or comment. There are 12 minutes is remaining. Hare Krishna, Hare Bol. Any question or any comment? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Thank you Prabhuji for taking us through that text. It's actually important, just like it says there. It's like very important to read, to, to hear rather. Yeah, thank you Prabhuji. Yeah, there's a question from Panchali Kar Mataji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, thank you for the wonderful class and uh, apologies for joining late. 
Um, so I just um, have a quick question, Prabhuji, around uh, Mirabai. She was such a great devotee, and uh, uh, so uh, she was she was devotee of the highest form. So if you are a devotee in the highest form, um, why why is it that uh, Krishna in in the Goluk Vrindavan form doesn't come to your mind, and why is it that she was um, attracted to uh, the opulence of Krishna? And and not 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 uh, and didn't think of Krishna in the Madhurya Ras. Hare Krishna, yeah, the, yeah. All the devotees are uh, uh, undoubtedly sees in highest platform, but it not means see, my mindset and your mindset they are same. Everybody did not come for the Madhurya, uh, this conjugal love of the Krishna. Like in Bhagavatam also it's described, in Shastra also described, we can develop our relation with Krishna in a five way, like Shanta, Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, and Madhurya. They are all like a highly elevated stage, like Jasoda, Nanda Maharaj, Devaki, Vasudeva, they are in the Vatsalya Rasa. They are the parental love. Mm. So that is not a like that, my feeling is that you may be attracted black figure of a Krishna. Maybe I attracted the white figure of a Krishna. Maybe I attracted by the Lord Ram. Maybe I attracted Dwarikadhis Krishna. When Dwarikadhis Krishna, there is the opulence. Like a, uh, opulence, all the opulence. Because thinking is like that. It's not wrong uh, like that. Why not doing? That is a, it's a spontaneously love. It's an inner quality. It's not like that. But they are in the highly elevated stage. But Vrindavan Krishna, all the Gopas, all the Gopabala and others, and uh, like Sadaka Swami, they are in the Vrindavan Krishna, their conjugal lover. They are the, the internal associate of a Krishna. But uh, Mirabai, although the love her, but she is Dwarika, this opulence. Like some of the devotees, they are also worshipping the Vishnu form, Narayana form. The Vishnu with the Sankha Chakra Gada Padma, with the Maa Lachmi, Goddess Lachmi, in opulence, there is the, uh, the power, the opulence. So that is not uh, any problem because that is the, uh, every personality have a separate, separate mindset. So everybody is not go for the, this spontaneously they can attract. That is no wrong, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you for explaining. Hare Krishna. Any other question or comment? If you no other question or comment, then we can uh, conclude the session today. Yes, Prabhuji. Yes. So just chanting the Hare Krishna mantra once for the glorification of Srila Prabhupada, then we conclude this session. Please join everyone. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare all Ashamla devotee ki jai. Hari Bol, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Bol, Hare Krishna.